The South Coast Botanical Gardens is one of the most overlooked places in the South Bay. It is home to 87 acres of over 2,000 different species of plants. I'm proud to present Molson with a brief history of the botanical gardens. Uh, well, it started out, it used to be an, an old mine. It used to mine diamite. That's the correct pronunciation of it, but it's a, it's a type of mineral or, or stone because it used to be all underwater. And uh, this stuff they used it, I, I think they used it maybe for filtering and, and uh, additives to maybe like cement stuff like that. And then just uh, over time, uh, they just ran out of whatever they were trying to mine. So they were just, uh, just, just sitting here doing nothing basically. And I got after it was a mine, it became a landfill. Excuse me, I forgot about that. And so they were dumping all kinds of garbage here, all kinds of chemicals, all you know, toxic stuff and things like that. We still have what we call hot spots, where it's places like where a tree, you'll plant a tree, and then sometimes its roots will go down far enough and they hit these hot spots and then everything just dies. Um, when you put trash under, under the ground like that, um, it creates like methane gas. Our 50th anniversary was in 2010, so what would that be? Still 60. Yeah, it sounds right. 60, something like that. Uh, they just uh, they started building a garden, and they had to haul in like all kinds of dirt because you know when you're excavating and whatever, uh, you know, there's obviously going to be a, a, a huge hole. So they brought in tons and tons and tons of dirt. And then they just started bringing in uh, all kinds of different plants. I mean, there's so many different species. Uh, I can't begin yeah. to tell you what they are, uh, but there's just you know, trees and, and shrubs and flowers, and we've got some you know, succulents and cactus. The botanical gardens are also very well known for the range of animals that they have there. You've got your possums, you've got your raccoons, you've got your skunks, um, tons of hummingbirds, all kinds of different bird, bird life. We've got koi fish in the koi pond, and then uh, on occasion we'll have uh, coyotes come down. And uh, they're looking for food because you know, there's not a lot of food around. And we also have a kind of a population of uh, feral cats. And that's kind of like one of their uh, things that they like to come down and try to eat. I didn't know, uh, I didn't see too many animals, but one of the ones I saw was, uh, it was a lizard. Uh, it looked like a f***ing predator, but other than that, it was very majestic. How was your experience at the Botanical Gardens? Oh man, it was awesome. It's a really beautiful place. They really keep it, you know, they keep it all put together. It's really nice. I loved it. Uh, would you recommend other people to go there? Yeah, you know, anyone who's looking for a, a great walk or just, you know, beautiful scenery and stuff like that, I'd recommend it to anyone who wants to achieve some relaxation. Even me? Yeah, even this dude. Uh, what was your favorite part about it? Probably the creek or the pond. The pond because, you know, they sell some food and you can feed the ducks and that's always a lot of fun. And the creek because sometimes they have turtles in there. Their most well-known attraction, however, is their rose garden. The rose garden features over 300 varieties of roses. Another well-known part of the garden is their volunteer garden, which is home to many fruits, vegetables, flowers, and other plants. We had a wonderful time seeing all the interesting plants, animals, and fungi. It was a nice escape to be somewhere that is not covered in slabs of concrete. We'd like to finish this off with some advice from a friend of ours. Yeah, people are predators. Watch out. Especially lizards.
Take the bus, come all the way.